So, hier wird kräftig weiterhin geraucht. Hallo Sonny. Ah ja. Hallo. Ich muss die Arsche wegmachen. Ja, Sebastian ist schon voll gearscht. Oh. Ai, ai, jibi. So. so, weiter geht's. Oh, weiter geht's. Worum geht's denn eigentlich weiter? Was in auch die Zigarren haben wir abgehakt. Ähm, in, ähm, Sonny hat uns erzählt, dass er über 1000 Zigarren schon geraucht hat. Und ähm, das ist ein perfekter Anlass, um mal jemanden zu fragen, der so viel Erfahrung hat, was er für Tipps für Einsteiger hat. Vielleicht die drei wichtigsten Tipps äh, für Einsteiger, Sonny. Ja. Yeah. So, some hints. Ja, yeah, definitely. For beginners. Sorry. Ja, uh, yeah, so. Um I think in another video I, I, I give uh, a tip that, that um, you know, the first guy who ever recommended me a cigar gave me was, uh, you know, at the end, you know, for your first 30 cigars when you're still discovering what flavors you like, you know, what, what cigar uh, fits your uh, taste, taste profile, um, try to, at the end of the cigar smoking session, try to remove the bands on your cigar. Try to write down the notes that you were, um, you know, in the atmosphere that you were smoking it, the date, who you were smoking with, what flavors you tasted, what you liked about the cigar, what you didn't like about the cigar. And I knew that after, um, you know, within the first 30, 50 cigars, every 10 cigars, I would look at them, read my notes and say, okay, so this is what I like, this is what I don't like. And, and it informed me better for the next few cigars. Um, and I think There, there's there's a lot of uh, different techniques that I've learned throughout the years. Um, you know, when when I was first smoking as a, when I was first smoking cigars, I didn't know what the taste was. Uh, and one thing in common that I that I tasted was that all of the cigar had a burnt taste. And I thought, okay, you know, you're burning tobacco. This is what it should taste like. Uh, found out later I was wrong. Uh, basically, cigar should not taste like that. That that's a a sign that 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 the person has made a mistake smoking the cigar. Maybe they smoke too fast, it burns too hot, and then the tar buildup is there. Um, so what I've learned throughout the years, to, and and this is also a tip I've given out to a lot of people, help them save a lot uh, on 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 not wasting cigars. Is you know, so <clears throat> let's say you're at the end of your cigar. You smoke it and you might feel that there's a little bit of a burnt taste to it. A lot of it is because when you're smoking the cigars, you know, the, the tar comes towards you. And a nifty trick that I picked up is that once the cigars start tasting a little burnt, uh, give it a bit of a moment. Uh, usually I try smoking my cigar like this with my thumb right where the uh, 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 heat is so I can kind of figure out is this too hot, is this too cool, is this the right time to smoke the cigar. So try to get a feel for that first and then after that if it doesn't correct itself try to do this. So this is called purging. What you do is you instead of puffing the cigar in you blow the cigar out. Kind of like this. No sound effects because there's, there's no sound obviously. Um, but What this does, hypothetically, in my mind, this is not scientifically proven, is that it pushes the tar further up the cigar. And then so closer to where you're smoking, you can get the real taste of the cigar as you first lit it. So I've had a lot of friends when I was smoking with them, like, oh, this cigar has gone bad. I can't smoke it anymore. I gave them this trick and it just basically freshens up the cigar. So I think I've saved a lot of cigars from graveyards. Uh, that, that, was, that was a very useful one, especially for myself. Um, and... When I first started out, I had a, a, a single uh, straight cutter, right? And I know, and, and we all know uh, these days, not, not these days, but we all know that there's a lot of different uh, types of cutters. You can, have, you can do punch, you can do straight cuts, you can do V cuts, and even then you have different equipment to use it. So uh, for, for me, you have a different, for me, I try to apply different cuts to different cigars. For example, if it's a um, if it's a torpedo uh, in the sense of this Haupa number two over here, I like to do a Dickman's cut. That's when you try to do it at a 45 degree angle. Uh, this is what I like to do for 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 these uh, torpedo shaped um, uh, cigars because then it falls very comfortably on your on your lips, and also there's a bigger surface area for the smoke to go through. Mm -hmm. And other cigars, of course, you know, straight cut, uh, V cut, depending on how tight the construction is, maybe even a, a cross cut when you do 
the V kind of uh, perpendicular to each other. So that's kind of what I learned. Different cigars may require different cuts and, and different uh, uh, accessories for them. And yeah. Thank you so much. A lot of interesting hints for cigar beginners. <laughs>